I believe that 99% of the people in the world are cows. They have a cow mindset, which means they have a lot of attributes that put them in that category or classifications. Most of it has to do with the way they think. So what I call cows, the cow mindset, are the people that follow the herd. People that do what everyone else is doing. They feel pressure to do what everyone else is doing and they actually feel acceptance from doing what everyone else is doing. They eat the same food, they do the same activities, the same hobbies, the same type of jobs, the same kind of perception and outlook on things like creating income and what the government's role in their life is. And so in the, the analogy of cows and rhinos, the cow pasture is this flat, featureless rectangle surrounded by a fence mindset location. And I believe that, like I said, 99% of the people in the world live in the cow pasture. They have a cow mindset. They follow the herd to the same feeding trough. They all eat the same crappy food, whatever's provided for them, whatever's the cheapest. The cows love cheap. They love free. So they do what everyone else is doing. They eat the food because they think that's all they can afford. They have a very scarce mindset. They have a scarcity mindset and a fixed mindset. Most cows believe they've already read all the books they ever needed to in high school or college. So you will hear them say things, what I call cow talk, like, I already know everything I need to know. I'm out of school. I don't need to keep learning. I've already been to college. I'm done with learning. So the only time they learn anything is when their job requires them and somebody that's their employer makes them. So cows look at the scarcity, the negative, the lack. That is where they operate from. And if you look at the world and listen to the world, most people live with that mindset. They like whatever's easiest. They like comfortable, safe, secure. They love benefits. Oh, cows will keep a job they hate for 30 years for the benefits. Benefits being things like health insurance and stuff like that, which they need to look up the definition of the word benefit. Okay. So those are my opinions, of course, but that's what we hear. And we see cows with uh, this very impoverished, this very scarcity mindset. Uh, we see them at the grocery store with a conveyor belt full of just crap, pop and sugar and all these individually packaged foods that the cows claim are cheap, but they don't do the math. They're not cheap. And they're not cheap when they lead to diabetes and things like that. But cows want the farmer to come to the cow pasture and take care of them when they get sick. So that's the Western medicine mindset. That's the government Free health care. That's what cows really want is free health care. We all have free health care. It's taking care of your health. So as I go through this, there will be a lot of references to cow mindsets and rhino mindsets. I believe we're all born with a high level of rhino spirit, but it is conditioned out of us. Conditioned first and foremost by our families, our parents. In an effort to protect us, they tell us no. No, 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 you can't do that, don't do that, can't do that, don't do that, don't do that. But when you're five, you're told that you can do anything you want. However, later in life, 18, 19, 20, 25 years old, you're told to stop dreaming and be more realistic. Cows love the realistic. Rhinos, they hate the word realistic. Realistic keeps you in the average. Our cows aspire to being average. Average is great. I'm average. I'm doing what everyone else is doing. I'm doing as good as everyone else. Cows love average. That seems good. Rhinos despise the word average. Doing what everyone else is doing and just being average is about the worst thing a rhino spirit can endure. But as we go through the school system, which I believe is designed purposefully to be a good factory for employees, worker bees, 
for other rhinos. So for rhinos to build these systems, namely John Rockefeller, John D. Rockefeller in, in 1904, set up a lot of the curriculum for the modern school system, which still continues today. That's why you're not taught anything about money or finances or creating wealth or even success. You're taught the basics of this is what you need to function and survive. Cows love to survive. They will tell you, oh, I'm doing a great job. We're surviving. We're surviving. Rhinos feel like we can do better in life. Then you go to college or in high school, you're actually told get a good grade, get good grades, study hard so you can get a good job with a big company and they'll take care of you when you're 65. That's the cow plan. That's the cow plan to get to the end, get to the land of paradise. You can work for a big company because you got good grades and got a good job. And if you do it right, you can get into a good college and graduate with forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 worth of debt at age 20, 21, 22. And you can make payments on basically a mortgage payment on a house you don't even own for an education that may not do you much good but you can get that coveted job for that big company that will take care of you and all you got to do is spend your life 30 years of your finite life doing something you know won't fulfill you to fulfill someone else's dreams rhinos believe that there is a world out there that is built for people who are willing to take a chance, take a risk, go for it. Their mindset is the opposite. Cows are afraid of risk. They think going outside the cow pasture is risky. Rhinos think sitting here in the cow pasture doing what I know won't fulfill me for the rest of my life or even five or 10, 15 years of my finite life is risky. If we define risk by the probability or likelihood of a negative and irreversible outcome, then to a rhino, inaction is the biggest risk of all. So at some point in a rhino's life, and often when you talk to people, you can identify this, they jump the fence. Could be getting out of a bad relationship, could be getting out of a, a job that isn't fulfilling, it could be just a mindset change. You know what? I can do better than this. And that's kind of what happened to me. I thought I was doing great, but really I was just a happy cow in a good high end of the cow pasture. Not even a high end from a financial standpoint. Like some people make 100, 200, 300,000 a year, but they a year, but they still have a very cow mindset, a very fixed mindset. Rhinos have a growth mindset, and at some point they want to expand. They have an abundant mindset. They think the world has an infinite infinite sources of possibilities they just they see this abundance this infinite abundance that is the universe so at some point in a rhino's life they will jump the fence and discover the cows were right it's scary out there all the way around the cow pasture no matter which direction you go once you're outside the fence they are steep rocky jungle covered hills the flat easiness of the cow pasture, cows love easy. They love the path of least resistance. Whatever's easiest, that's what a cow will be attracted to. But the rhino finds no matter where he wants to go in life, it's up and it's treacherous and it's rocky and it will be a struggle. But he also truly believes that on top of the hills, in every direction, there are the true lands of paradise. Now the cows will tell you, that's fantasy land, you're living in a dream world. Cows will watch that on TV. But rhinos read books about people who have achieved success and how, have re how they reached the land of paradise and how they did it. So what happens is the rhino has the mindset that if they can do it, I can do it. The cow has the mindset it's risky. That's a fantasy land. You're living in a dream world. You need to stop dreaming and be more realistic and stay here where it's safe and comfortable and do what everyone else is doing and be okay with being average. The rhino cannot do this. The rhino starts up the hill and he finds that it is tough. In fact, every time it gets 
really bad, something really goes wrong in life. Basically, a sign pops up on your way up, on your ascent up this jungle mountain that says, Path of Least Resistance, Shortcut Back to the Cow Pasture. Life often offers you an easy way out of this struggle up this mountain. But when rhinos keep going, they, they tend to find other rhinos. And the higher they get up the mountain, two things happen. One, they look down on the cow pasture and see how featureless and flat and boring and mundane and nothingness it really was. And two, once they gain some altitude, they can see all these other mountains. Typically, everybody lives where they can see some foothills. But if you climb to the top of those foothills, you can see all kinds of mountain peaks. We can here in Oregon, of course. Right out my window, there's Mount Tom. It's the highest peak I can see. But if I climb to the top of that mountain, then I can see the Three Sisters. I can see Mount Washington, Mount Jefferson, Three Finger Jack. I can see all these mountains. I can see Mount Hood. And way off in the distance, I can see Mount Rainier. And I know I can climb because I just climbed Mount Tom, which means I can choose any one of those greater, bigger dreams and go for a bigger, better, more beautiful land of paradise. And I can look down even further on the cow pasture and see how unfulfilling and not what I want for my life it really is. So rhinos will continue to do that and they will continue to climb. And they will continue to fight through adversity and do whatever it takes to get wherever they want to go. And that's what it means to be a rhino, thinking opposite of cows. As you go through life, you'll hear cow talk and you'll hear rhino talk. And you'll notice they're not just different, they're opposite. One of them is fear and scarcity, negativity. And the rhino mindset is about abundance and a can-do spirit and we can do it, and anything's possible. You hear those things all the time. A cow will often say, I'm never in the right place at the right time. And they manifest that destiny. Where a rhino will say, anything's possible. If they can do it, I can do it. Why not me? I know the land of paradise exists, and I can get there. And I think rhinos often find that the adversity and the struggle of climbing the mountain is where we, be we become the rhino that has the thick skin and the strong rhino spirit and the long, sharp rhino horn that gives us all these increased rhino attributes that really becomes the land of paradise. It's who we become with adversity. We all know you can't grow without a challenge. And any superhero, any hero, is only as good or as special as the challenge that he's overcome. The cows, they've just got their head down what is, in my opinion, a lowered level of consciousness, consciousness going through life, really just going through the motions of life, waiting for their turn to die, doing whatever's easiest, whatever's safest, whatever's most comfortable, whatever's average, whatever everybody else is doing. They get their information from the news. They watch TV. Rhinos, life is exciting. Every day is exciting. They get up, they're thrilled about what they're doing because they do something that is thrilling to them. Some of them may be climbing the wrong mountain, but they'll look over and say, you know what, that's the mountain I want to climb. And they'll go climb it. And they'll start over from the bottom. They don't care. Cows will be like, oh, I tried climbing the mountain once. It was too steep. It didn't work out. So I just came back to the cow pasture. Rhinos have to climb because that's where they want to go. Cows, they don't care. So that's kind of an overview of cows and rhinos. There's lots of attributes to what cows do, say, and think. And I know that as this goes forward, you and I will talk more about all the different mindsets of cows and rhino, whether it's fitness or financial or family or just living life with an abundant positive mindset versus a scarcity negative mindset. And really, that's what it's about. They either have this fixed mindset where you're just 
going through life as an average person in the cow pasture or you have this growth mindset where life is exciting and every day is thrilling and you can't believe that you get to do this and it's challenging and it's a struggle but it's beautiful so that's my version of cows and rhinos for today 